really curious about how this is gonna taste. What's happening? Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle, and today we are going to be doing a special edition of the Vegan Substitute Series. We had a little healthy competition where two fantastic finalists competed to be featured in one of my episodes of the series. And the winner was my dear friend, May. Hi, May. Hey, Merle. Oh my God, I love this series so much. I think I've seen every single episode, so I'm super excited to be here. And I'm really excited about what you chose for us to make today. Let's tell the good people. So we're gonna be making vegan tuna out of watermelon. Watermelon! I'm a little nervous because we've had tough times with watermelon in the past. Well, listen, we're gonna have a great time. Yeah, I'm ready, let's go. This is the big old watermelon boy we're gonna be working with today. I have seen this recipe, it went a little bit viral on the internet. I have never attempted it myself. I have tried to make a vegan smoked ham out of watermelon and that was a whole ordeal. So to say I'm a little nervous about this is an understatement. Watermelons are risky. But we're gonna start off by cutting the top and the bottom. This is gonna make a nice flat surface for us to place this bad boy on. Let's name you Victor. So now what we're gonna do is stand it up and slice off the skin and any of the white pith. Wouldn't it be great if any time you ate watermelon, Harry Styles was just, would just appear in the kitchen? It didn't work but wouldn't it be cool if it did? We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, flip it over, make sure we get all of it. All right, and this is the part I've been dreading the most because there's no going back. We're gonna slice about two inches in, so we wanna get four like flanks. Okay, Victor, it's nice knowing you. Oh my gosh. Over here I've got a baking sheet that just has a dish towel in it. Okay. Beautiful, two, sweet. That wasn't so scary. I was worried about that this entire time. All right, and then we've got this middle boy. And if it's not too mealy, you can also add that to your flanks. Mine looks too mealy, so I'm just gonna eat it. I don't like to use plastic bags, but that seemed to be the best method. So even though I'm using a plastic bag, I will reuse this plastic bag. If you're gonna use plastic, reuse the bag. Enough of that. Now we're gonna place our planks into these plastic bags. If you need to cut them up a little bit to get them to fit in there, that's fine. I'm going to do that with the rest of this watermelon and then we're gonna make our marinade. Now what we're gonna do is make our marinade. We're gonna add three quarters of a cup rice wine vinegar, three quarters of a cup of soy sauce. I'm using low sodium soy sauce. You can also use tamari. Two tablespoons of sesame oil a quarter of a cup of neutral oil of your choice, one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. We've got two sheets of nori here and I'm gonna just go ahead and crumple those up. Gonna give it more of that fishy flavor. Let's mix that up. So now we're gonna pour our marinade over the watermelon. We want it like a vacuum seal for this bag. Make sure you get all of that extra air out of there. You can even like use your mouth to try to suck air out. <laughs> I just sucked a story. Nori sheet right under my tongue. Oh, yucko. Well, it has a, ta is a fishy aftertaste, that's for sure. It does work though. <sighs> okay, that was a little upsetting. But now that this is vacuum sealed tight, we're gonna toss them in the refrigerator to refrigerate for six hours or overnight. Okay, so now we're gonna transfer our tuna from the bags over to our baking sheet. I feel weird. Oh, they feel weird. Slippery devil. So even though we're not using a reusable towel, because there's a lot of oil in this and it would probably ruin the towel, you can still do the sustainable thing and compost your paper towels. Everyone do their best. So we're gonna take these out, put them on our baking sheet, and we're gonna let them dry off for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna pat them dry with another towel. In the meantime, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 150 degrees Celsius. They look pretty legit. I mean, the color has changed significantly. So I've let our tuna planks, steaks rest for 15 minutes. And now I'm gonna take them off the paper towels and put them onto some parchment paper in this baking sheet. All right, so these are ready to bake. We're gonna pop these in the oven for 90 minutes. Ooh, cool. All right, so we're gonna let our tuna friends cool off. We want them to cool all the way down, and then we can go ahead and slice them up and try them. 
All right, our tuna is ready to cut into. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It looks good. All I can hope is that it tastes good. So I'm gonna cut into this. I'm gonna do some one inch diagonal slices. The inside looks good. It looks like a hunk of fish. I'm really curious about how this is gonna taste. I'm still like scarred from my last watermelon experience. All right, so I'm just gonna pop this on a little bit of sushi rice and then we're gonna be ready to taste test it. This time I'm gonna do my taste test with May. So we're doing things a little differently, but I think it'll be more fun that way. May, we're gonna do the taste test together. I'm nervous though. We'll send out some positive thoughts and then at the count of three, let's each try this at the same time. Oh my God, I'm so terrified of this. Three, two, one. And it's a lot of watermelon. The watermelon yeah, that refuses to leave. The rice is good. It's definitely soy sauce watermelon on top of rice. You've seen this floating around too, right? Like you've seen this video? I mean, yeah. obviously. I've seen it on Instagram, like literally everywhere. Like you look at it and you're like, oh, it has to be good if it looks that accurate, but um, nope. I always want vegan substitutes to work really badly, but no I can't same. I can't lie. Oh, all right. Well, thank you for your optimism. Thank you for blindly <laughs> leaping into this pool of disaster with me. Okay, you ready? Yes. I'm ready. Ta-da! Ah! <laughs> I love sushi. It looks like sushi, but that has gone bad. This texture is creepy. This actually looks like um wagyu beef. I'm curious to see what this is made out of. I'm gonna guess tomato. What's happening? <laughs> I don't like that. Does it taste like tuna? No. This is like the most hydrating sushi I've ever had. Do you think it's tomato? I'm gonna guess tomato. It's watermelon. That's watermelon? <laughs> oh, and I hate watermelon too. That's why I'm saying, I'm and I'm surprised you liked it because it surprising. tastes a lot like watermelon oh. to me. Maybe you got a better piece than I had. Likeness overall is probably like a four. I like it for what it is. I've had to grade it on its own as a dish, 7.58 out of 10. As a substitute for tuna, probably like a 3.4. Okay. It just tastes like watermelon. I agree. It's its own thing. It's it its own now. delicacy. All in all pretty delightful. Ooh, ginger. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs>